Hi, I'm Justin from City Studios. Today we're in the Polygon Sci-Fi Horror Pack with some of our sidekick characters, and I'll be walking through how we set up lighting and post effects at Cinti for our screenshots. For this scene, we're in Unity 6 and we're using the Universal Render Pipeline. First, we open the Lighting tab and modify the Environment Lighting to a gradient, which is more customizable and reduces the harsh default shadows. From here, you can also add fog to exaggerate the depth of the scene. If you have an outdoor scene, remember to turn shadows on the main directional light. You can tweak the real-time shadow bias to clean up any small gaps of light coming through. To add some post effects, make sure to tick them on in your main camera settings and also add anti-aliasing. From here, you'll want to create a global volume and create a profile for it. Here is where you can add the effects and we'll start with a bloom and vignette. In Unity 6, screen space ambient occlusion has been moved slightly. Just head over to project settings, graphics, locate your default renderer pipeline in the project, check which renderer it is using, and then add a renderer feature where you'll find the screen space ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion adds finer shadows and small gaps, which really helps to highlight details. This is about as far as you would want to push it for normal game lighting, but since we're making a screenshot, we can go further without worry of performance. The next trick we use is the lighting layers. You can select meshes in the scene and set them to different lighting layers, then create lights that only affect those layers, which is great for creating rim lights on the characters and props that you want to be in focus for the shot. Point lights are a great way to splash color into areas and change the feeling of a shot very quickly. Here I'm adding some more post effects to lower the lighting using a darker vignette, color adjustments, white balance, and lift gamma gain components. Point lights can also be used on characters' faces or props to draw more attention to them. And for a final touch, I'm adding some effects. Our most commonly used ones are ground fogs and floating dust particles. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Leave us a comment and let us know what other videos you would like to see from us in the future.